and there's our XP lovely air again internet and email controls here and we're gonna go back to the parental controls here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we did we've done with all the other um, internet security switch we've looked at we're gonna create another account create an account or, oops not change account I'm going to create an account close this out for a second here there we go Seen this in the past, we do just, just kind of call it John or Jane, whatever one. Uh, we're gonna make it a limited user because we're gonna pretend this is actually a, you know one of your a kid's account. So, so we've got that now created, and now what we're gonna look for is in the settings if it detects that account. So here's a little wizard in here. It says welcome to parental controls. Here you can hit close. Um, click on activate parental controls. Now, by default, everyone is this way. Obviously, you don't want it for everyone. If that's uh, if that's you and you don't want the parental controls on for yourself, you'll need to uncheck that. If you click on Add Someone, it goes through the list of users on your computer. So you'll just hit. We have John here, and you'll hit just select. So that's who you want. So then you can you know change a little profile picture there, but we're gonna leave that as default. All right. Now, website filter strength is teen which means this is everything that's going to block. Uh, adults, sex, alcohol, tobacco, gambling, crime, violence, hacking, weapons, cult, you can check, blogs, games, email, there's a lot of stuff in here you can actually check, spam check. So there's a lot of stuff you can actually go into here. Um, and you know, and if you click on high for child, you can see everything's blocked here. So, so again, you know, medium is probably good, it's going to block pretty much everything, but again, you know, no filter is 100% perfect. So you can uh, you enable the web access schedule, which again um, just allows you to set time periods of when your kids can be online. You click enable it and say, all right, so from four to you know nine o'clock, um, web access is blocked. You can see that right here. So just another one of those uh, things you can do here. Oops, let me go back one and disable that. Then you have the data protection and stuff like that. If you turn that on, you know, it's basically used to kind of help protect your, you know, your kids' data and stuff like that so they're not sharing the information all over the place. So, um, you know, it's not a bad thing to have, especially, uh, you know, I always say kind of my recommendation is if they're under 14, this is something kind of good to block. Uh, but if once they kind of get older than that, you know, you, it's harder and harder to actually block some of this stuff because they're, they're fairly computer savvy at that age. So. But again, you know, if you don't want them to share their name, um, home address, and phone number and stuff, you can go ahead in here and settle that up. And you can see how everything is checked, or checked, and then if they try to share that information, it gets blocked. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. So we're going to hit cancel all that out. And we're actually going to turn that on. And when you turn that on, you have to actually activate a password. We are going to create our traditional password, just straight ones. Alright, so we're just going to close that out, and now what we're going to do is switch over to the other profile and check the parent, the uh, security settings out. today for some reason. Alright, so now we're going into the John profile here. Again, like, um, just a quick reminder here. Um, We've always put all of our videos. If you have not gone out to Microsoft's website and gone to Microsoft Update or Window Update, make sure you do that today. Uh, you know, Microsoft is releasing patches for their operating system all the time, especially on the second Tuesday of month is when their scheduled releases are. But if you have not gone out to Windows Update or Microsoft Update, make sure you do that today and get all the latest critical patch for your operating system. So, all right, so send the personal settings now.
Still waiting on the profile to set up here. Looks like now we're setting up uh, the themes set up. That's what the according to this box says up here. Almost done now. Still waiting on the profile to be set up here. There we go. And like I said, you'll see the two trend guys up here say three because there's two icons and a folder and we're just going to go ahead and launch it and explore and you'll also see it trend down here so yeah it says it's turned off in this because we uh, it's downloaded all the updates and we just have not rebooted so sometimes it uh, as it's updating itself it will turn itself off momentarily so all right in here and let's just type in XXX and see what happens. So we know that works. And now we always do the second test, which is the Wikipedia page. It has kind of, you know, the excess of content to see if it can actually filter the difference between what would be considered like pornographic material and what would be just considered content or what is considered just everyday stuff. So, and, you know, this is just a uh, triple X movie by Vin Diesel. So, as you can see, it did actually allow that through. So, which is good. There's a MySpace, and here's another one here. Again, blocked, considered adult. Um, there's a MySpace page, Triple X the band, and it went ahead and let that through. So, see, we just tested three or four of them out here, and it did block the uh, ones that were considered inappropriate. So, so that's always good for us. Whoops. Alright, let me just to log off and switch users again. So, as you can see, um, Trend Michael, you can kind of see some of the features that Trend Michael has in it. Um, it's got a fairly, fairly easy interface to use. Um, it is a little bit bulky in it, and we um, we weren't overall impressed with some of the scan speeds at times. They were a little slower than we thought. Um, it used a little bit too much memory. We found in kind of our opinion and stuff like that. Uh, the interface was good. The parental controls were good. We obviously we did not like spam was turned off. Um, Email and messaging was also turned off. I, I don't understand why. I mean, especially well, webmail was turned off. I should say for scanning, and messaging was also turned off. And and because of those those things, that's why I took a big hit in our in our, in our uh, testing because um, you know we want the maximum security possible. And unfortunately, we thought the default settings for the Trend Micro were just lacking in some of the security you know, options. So. Again, you know, we gotta say Trend Micro is a good product. It did very, very well in our testing for um, for viruses and spyware. But like I said, it had a few things in, it, in there that were just not we thought weren't set up correctly. So that's why I kind of knocked it down. Uh, the value is very good. You know, quality is very good. But like I said, it's just some of the little little settings we just uh, didn't like. So, but uh, that's all. That's all we have today here. So we just want to give you. Uh, overview of the Trend Micro Internet Security Suite 2010 here. Uh, again, you know, this is Scott from uh, InternetSafetyCenter.com and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.